We have a real treat today on Walking the Candy Isle. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I am Jeff. Today we have a review of lo- Lokers, lo- lock- Lockers, Lokers, Lokers, Loker, I think Loker, I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, Rose of the Dolomites, original, apparently. Uh, Loker, lo- Loker, I'm just going to say Loker because I don't know how to say that differently, is um, an Italian... Um, Chocolatier confection confectionery company. Um, they are best known for Quadratini. Um, they do a lot of products with um, chocolate and wafers, but Quadratini is the is that wafer. You know the ones that you get the bag, and then there's the waf- the like little squares of wafer with cream in it, and it's like literally the best thing in the whole world. You know what I'm talking about? Like other than maybe like Lindor's. <laughs> you you guys know what I'm talking about, right? They're amazing. They're like absolutely fantastic they're like 10 out of 5 you know what i'm saying they're like really really good um yeah that's what i know them from i don't know i didn't know any other products by theirs but i you know they have some sure they're italian so you know a lot of their stuff probably just doesn't make it over here um i don't know where this came from i have no idea how i got this in my hand but i have it in my hand and it's the Rose of the Dolomites, which is actually kind of an outlier, I think, in some of their products. I think that this is a praline thing, so it maybe has some biscuit or some almond in it. But mainly, it looks like, in the pictures, that it's basically just chocolate. There it is. That's what I'm looking at here. These can also come in bags, and they come in packs of uh, multi-packs, because... There's an original, which is milk chocolate. Then there's also dark chocolate and a white chocolate version of this rose, right? So obviously it's in the shape of a rose. Um, the Dolomites are, uh, are a mountain range, right? It's like the edge. It's like uh, one of the sort of sub-mountain ranges of the Alps, I believe. I believe? Anyway, the Dolomites are a mountain range, though. Uh, they run through Italy and uh, Germany, I want to say. I assume if they're the Alps, I assume Switzerland as well. But who knows? Maybe not. Um because it's like, I think it's like an edge range on the edge of the Alps. Anyway, uh, and there is an alpine rose that grows in the Dolomites, apparently, that this that inspired the, the shape of this. Because I would say that this does not look anything like a rose, really. Like, this is more of a marigold or something, right? Like, but you know what? Like, what was that it, in... Um, what was that when I was in Scotland? They have a different, they have a, like the rose of Scotland as well. It's not uh, like technically speaking, quote unquote, a rose. It's just another flower that, that they call the rose of, of, you know, Scotland. So I wonder if maybe that the Alpine rose isn't actually a rose. Instead, it's, you know, some kind of a daisy or, a, you know, something like that's clearly not a rose, <laughs> rose shaped and like a real rose that I would know. But, um, you know, whatever. That's fine. Let's uh, let's give this a try. I don't think there's any wafer in here, but you never know. Could be. You never can tell with these things, right? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Oh my. Wafer wafer line right there. And then like um, what is that? Like a ganache or something? Let's try and get a good view of that. Holy cannoli. Wow. Below it. Yeah, like a, it's like a, wow. Man, that's good. It's a little weird. Mmm, I can taste it. Almond? I guess that's the praline, right? Mmm, that's real nutty. That's nice. And then it's got this like, it's got this like melty, velvety sort of ganache underneath it which is really good. This is excellent. Pretty weird. Certainly not what I was expecting. Honestly, my first thought was that this was going to be a solid piece of milk chocolate. It's closer to like, I know it's not the same company, sorry Italy, but it's closer to like a, um, like a Ferrero product. You know, the Ferrero Rochers, how they have the croquant um, wafer layer surrounding the the creamy center, right? That's kind of what this feels like. It's like the wafer layer on top of a, a cream ganache sort of layer. And then it's all surrounded 
by, um, you know, a milk chocolate outer layer in the shape of this rose. It's good. It's very good. Mm. I'm just going to eat it all. Very nutty. Mm. Mm. I like that too. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Well, good product. You know what? I'm lucky because I have another one. <laughs> I got to save this one. Actually, my wife probably wants me to, wants me to save that for her. She'll probably be upset if I eat it. <laughs> but I might. I don't know. That was excellent, though. Really good, guys. Um, I got to say, I, I really enjoyed that. I, I don't, Like I said, I'm not sure where I got this from, so I don't know if I can buy this here. Someone gave it to me. Did they give it to me? Did they have they like picked it up here in Canada? I wonder. I don't know. Man, I want to get those quadratinis now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, good stuff all around. Um, great work. I, I really like this. Uh, not uh, what I was expecting. Um, I think if you're going for this kind of a product, I still would still prefer the Ferrero Rocher overall. This is, it feels a little nuttier than that, though. Like, there actually were bits of uh, almond that I could taste in it. And I like that a lot. I, I think there are. There are two, I guess, on, uh, on the Ferreros. But I don't know. This was nice. A little more compact. Maybe it's because the Ferreros are bigger. And that's a little bit nice, nicer, too. But uh, excellent. Excellent work all around. Uh, Walking the Candy Gal is going to rate the uh, Rose of the Dolomites. I'm going to rate it a 4 out of 5. Real strong. Um, I'd be interested also in trying the dark and the white, I guess, too. Um, who, knows, who knows what they would be like? Definitely would be uh, interesting, though. So I'll keep my eye out for more products by these guys and uh, hopefully can bring that to you guys here on the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will talk to you next time. Please click the links if you'd like to see more reviews. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below if you, uh, if you feel like you have something you need to share. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.